what's happening guys, this is Jamo2k. Welcome to my player review, the upgraded Thomas Lamar, boosted up to 85 after the recent League One player update. I'll be taking you through my thoughts and first impressions of the new card, along with gameplay and a lot of goals to boot. Left boot. If you're thinking about picking them up for the recent weekend league because of the requirements, stay tuned to find out just how good he is. I actually picked up the Inform Lamar thanks to the weekend league rewards and that's why the card is red and to be honest I was quite disappointed when I first got it I tried him out about 10-15 games and he was quite weak pretty slow and yeah just disappointing all round I mean especially considering he has a two star weak foot but as you can see he is very good with the left so I basically left him in my club, you know, rotting away until the recent update. I dusted him off and I decided to give him a try in the daily knockout tournament. And I was surprised he's re either I've got a lot better or it's the card. And to be honest, it's probably the card. He can shoot from anywhere and the finesse shots into the top corner are just unstoppable. And you can really see the difference with the upgrade. He's turned into a usable player with great pace, decent dribbling and a wicked shot. I mean don't get me wrong, his main problem is that he lacks physicality and he'll get barged off the ball quite easily. I had to stick an architect card on him to give him a bit of extra shoulder power and it worked out quite well. He can hold off the first or second challenge and he has enough technique to get away from most defenders. It's easy to run to the byline and his crossing is on point. I mean, the worst thing is he can't head off, as you can see there. It's pretty terrible, but yeah, his passing's brilliant. And he can finish with the weak foot, despite it being two star. It makes sense when you look at the boosted second in form in depth because the stats mean that the card has new specialities. And he now has the dribbler, distance shooter, crosser, free kick specialist, acrobat, and clinical finisher specialities which means he's a great all-round attacker, even if he isn't the best defender, despite the stats. That also means that you probably shouldn't scrimp, and it is worth going for the second in form. I did have a quick look just now, and I see that he isn't on the market, but that's probably because of his ridiculously low price range and people are hoarding the cards, so I guess maybe I was lucky to get him in my monthly reward pack. Either way, I'm going to use him in the upcoming weekend league, his skills are just too good to ignore and he's sure to get me goals whether it's from set pieces or long range shots or even just cutting in from the wing. I usually play with Hazard and to be honest he is comparable in a lot of ways. I mean obviously he doesn't have 4 star skills which is a major flaw but he makes up for it in other ways and he honestly is clinical. Considering he's perfect for the weekend league He's a red card and the upgrade really do make a difference. It wouldn't make sense not to. I mean, that's all well and good for me, but if you're sitting there wondering whether or not you should buy the card, my advice is that you should probably go for it. At worst, you could easily sell it during the weekend league and you'll probably only lose a few thousand coins in the process and it never hurts to find out. So after all that, it's probably time to dish out a final verdict. And I'd say overall, I have to give him a 9 out of 10. It would be 10 if not for the 3 star skills. But it's still a lot better than the original card. I mean, I would have given that a 3 or a 2. It was just useless to me. So it's nice to finally have a usable monthly inform. But even if it wasn't red, don't get me wrong, it would still be a great card. I'd still recommend using it, although, to be honest, I'm not a fan of the normal card. Alright, that's it for me. Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and please like and subscribe if you haven't done so.